Hi everyone, uh, my name is John Conway. I am a functional lead here at PwC Canada. I'm working as part of the team working on the Hazardous Waste Registry Portal build. Um, I'll also let my colleague Keshapan introduce himself. Hello, uh, my name is Keshapan. I am the senior software developer at Vienna who is assisting in developing the mobile app. Perfect, thank you Keshapan. So today we'd like to do a short demonstration just to showcase the functionality regarding creating a new manifest on the mobile application and highlighting how the information which is entered on the mobile application is replicated on the desktop application and how that synchronizes live as well. So for a little bit of uh, context setting, the screens that you're seeing right now on the left hand side, you are seeing our desktop application and on the right hand side, you are seeing the mobile application. On the top left of the desktop, you can see the name Stanford Waste. That is the name of the company that we are logged in as. And on the top right of the desktop, our user is Ryan Creek. Alternatively, on the right hand side on the mobile application, you can see that we're still logged in as Stanford Waste. So for that particular account and our user is Jordan River. So we have two different users from the same company logged in. If we close the profile page on the mobile application, you will see that both users can see the same manifest listed there. So that manifest listed there ending in 1388 for the Lakeshore factory and currently has that status in transit. So they can both see the same pieces of information. But what we're going to walk through is we're going to walk through the process to create a new manifest on the mobile application. So to do that, our user on the right hand side, Jordan, is going to click on the new manifest button. So there are multiple steps involved with creating a new manifest. The first step is to select our generating company. So by clicking on the select the generator company, we have the ability to search with various fields to identify the correct generator associated with this manifest. For the purpose of this demo, we're going to search for uh, Lake Shore Factory, and that is the name of our facility. And as we type, you'll see that the results are being populated for us. So here's the generator we're looking for. So we can just click on that and click on select. And now that that's been created, we've actually started the process of initiating our manifest. So going back to the desktop application on the left-hand side, we refresh this page now. You can see that we have a new manifest has just been created for us there um, and with a status of draft. So if we click into that manifest itself too, now you can see on our overview page, we've got the details of our generator listed here, and we'll go through the next few steps to add in the carrier uh, receiver and the waste information too. So right now uh, it's indicating there's not covered for waste. We haven't added in the carrier information or the waste information just yet, but I'll highlight that again in a second. So the second step is to select our carrier. So in a very similar way as to how we selected the generator, we select the carrier by clicking on that in the mobile application. Again, we can search by various fields. This time we'll search for our carrier by the ECA number. So we'll search for 8524-B8. There, there we go, popped up for us there. So you can see the results are populating as we type. We can select our carrier, click on that and click on select. And now the carrier details have been added to our manifest. So we will refresh that page on the left hand side on our desktop application. And you can see now that we've done that, that the carrier information has also been populated on our desktop application as well. So the next step is to select the receiver. So very much the same way as how we've done before. Um, we're going to add in a receiver. This time we'll search for the address of the receiver. So we'll enter 16 Paul Street. Once more, as we type, we'll see there's our receiver that we can select. So we can click on that and click on select now. So now we selected our receiver on the mobile application. We will refresh on the desktop application one more time. And you can see our receiver information has been added there too. So then the next step on the, uh, on the mobile application is to add in our waste information, which we can do by clicking on the add waste information button at the bottom here. And at the top of the page, we have to enter in the required information um, for the shipment details. So we'll put in a scheduled arrival date of August 5th of 2022. 
We can select as follows for our special handling, which will allow us to put in some extra information in that box. So maybe we'll just write in that this is fragile. And then scrolling down, we'll enter in a 24 hour emergency contact number, 1866-966-1466, and an extension three if there is one. So now we can add in a specific waste stream for the manifest by searching for our waste stream that was created at this specific generator facility that we've already selected. So once more to, find, to make the information super easy to find, we can click on the select waste button and we can search via various fields. For this one, if we search for the word acidic, you can see there's our, our waste stream there that we can select. So we can click on this one, click on select, and now we'll enter in a few extra pieces of information here. So we've already had our shipping name and our shipping information uh, pulled through from the waste stream itself. So it's populated um, some information, which we can show if we look on the desktop application on the left, actually, here's the waste stream itself that was already created. And you can see how some of these details have already been populated on the right hand side on our mobile application when we selected that waste stream. However, we are missing a, a couple of field, a couple of fields here. So we'll put in the quantity shipped. So let's put in two kilograms here. And then of course, although this information was pre-filled for us from the existing waste stream, we can update any of these details if we so choose. So for example, we can change that packing group from a two to a three. So now we've added all of the information we're looking for. We can scroll down and review that and then click on Create Manifest. Okay, now that the manifest has been created, if we go back to our desktop application and we'll refresh this once more, you can see that we've got all of our information under the generator carrier and receiver. This time you can see that the waste ECA confirmation has indicated that that particular carrier and receiver are covered for the waste classes that were listed on our selected waste stream that we've input. And if we scroll back to the top of that page and click on the waste tab, you can see the details about our waste information have been added as well. So this now concludes that demonstration of how the mobile application and the desktop application uh, have and provide a synchronized experience for our users. And you can see how the information has been updated live on both experiences. Thank you very much for your time.